The road ahead leads straight to where the convoy was heading. Well then, what are you waiting for? Any doubts? No, no, I don't. I still think we have to go there. If they're not in the base, they must be somewhere, damn it. While Starfield is no doubt the popular sci-fi game of the year due to its epic scale and Bethesda Game Studios pedigree, Star Wars Industries' The Invincible offers a different kind of spacefaring adventure. Developed by Star Wars Industries and announced in 2020, it's a hard sci-fi property that involves exploring the planet of Regis III. It's a slower, more meditative experience, but still incredibly intense, playing out as more of a sci-fi thriller than a typical adventure game. In the middle of it all is the message that not everywhere is meant for humanity. The Invincible launches on November 6th for PS5, Xbox Series, and PC. Here's what you should know before picking it up new main cast of characters. No spoilers, of course, but many of the major characters, including protagonist Yasna, who searches for her missing crewmates on Regis III, are new and not in the book. There's also Novik, an astrologer who converses with Yasna throughout her journey, providing orders. While some characters from the book appear in the game, this is not a one-to-one -one adaptation. However, the book and game are meant to complement each other instead of existing independently. We're preparing for departure. The convoy is heading somewhere. As Star Wars Industries CFO Masij Dobrowolski told Rock Paper Shotgun earlier this year at GDC, quote, When you play the game first and then read the book, you'll find something new in the book. And if you read the book first, you'll find something new in the game, end quote. Adam Punk Aesthetic if there's one thing that stands out about The Invincible, it's the visuals, which look stunning and almost photorealistic. However, it would make sense for much of the technology to appear retro-futuristic. Speaking to Games Radar, director Marek Markazuski, who also founded developer Star Wars Industries, says the aesthetic is inspired by the works of sci-fi illustrator Chris Foss, artist Sid Mead, and Chelsea Bonstell, whose works in space art remain legendary to this day. Markazuski described the aesthetic of the game as Adam Punk, but a significant amount of research also went into, quote, the original designs of spacesuits and clothing used during the Cold War, as well as spaceships, vehicles, various tools and devices manufactured in the Soviet Union, end quote. It has reportedly resulted in a, quote, fresh and unique retro-futuristic visual style, end quote. Unreal Engine 5. Why even bother with security measures when they just leave keys in locks anyway? So... Let's hear it. The Invincible is developed on Unreal Engine 5, with Star Wars Industries opting to use it for the material system and the physics-based rendering it allows, and the production and workflow of Unreal Editor. It also utilized features like Lumen for illumination and reflections, and Nanite's virtualized geometry for supporting the design of environments. Gameplay so, how do you play The Invincible? It's a first-person adventure that takes a few cues from Campo Santo's Firewatch. You walk around the environment and are engaged in conversations, selecting different dialogue options in real time. Those same options branch off into different reactions as you explore the six different biomes of Regis III. However, Mark Azuski told Shack News that this idea has been developed further, so you do more than walk around. Don't worry. Not all conversations will happen over the radio, and there will be plenty of up-close and personal encounters. Also, there aren't missions in the game, but different goals and tasks that pop up. Sometimes you drive a vehicle, and others involve surviving or conducting a search and rescue. Tools Another major part of the gameplay is using tools. Yasna will receive a scanner for X-raying walls or utilize a homing tracker to locate radios on different spacesuits to aid her investigation. There's also a handheld telescope used to identify things at a distance. Considering the mission to discover the fates of your missing crew, these will all be necessary to learn more about the events leading up to their disappearance and what's happening on Regis III. The equipment available changes throughout the story, and sometimes you may need to improvise, since they may not be meant for unexpected situations. Very volatile AI. You've probably noticed from the gameplay and demo released thus far that there are robots in the game. 
Marcus Zuski cited Alien Isolation as one of the gameplay inspirations, and there is some interaction with a very volatile AI. However, this doesn't mean running away from a highly intelligent xenomorph that is nigh unkillable. At least we hope it doesn't. Choices and Consequences as noted, a lot of conversation is happening on Regis 3. Some of your choices can affect your relationship with characters like Novik. But there's also a rival faction that you can interact with. Whether you work with or against them is entirely up to you, and not every decision may be correct. How these consequences manifest through a playthrough is where the appeal lies. Playtime and Multiple Endings Considering its various inspirations and the branching dialogue choices, how long is the Invincible? Dobrowolski told the loadout that a playthrough can take about 8 to 10 hours. However, there are multiple choices, and you won't know until later when something has changed, so the overall playtime could be much higher. There are reportedly 11 different endings, and players can treat the main mystery with hostility, investigate it, or even flee the planet. Note, you can mess things up pretty badly, highlighting some of the character's worst traits in the process. PC Requirements while its PC requirements are subject to change before release, the available specs indicate that it shouldn't be too heavy. You need Windows 10, 64-bit, and 40 gigs of installation space regardless of the other hardware. Minimum requirements include an Intel Core i5-10400F at 2.9 GHz or an AMD Ryzen 5 3600 at 3.5 with 8 gigs of RAM and a Radeon 6500 XT 4 gigs. NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 4 gigs, or a GeForce GTX 1060 6 gigs with DirectX 11. Recommended requirements include the same CPU but with 16 gigs of RAM and a Radeon 6600 XT 8 gigs, or GeForce GTX 1660 Ti 6 gigs with DirectX 12. DualSense Support the Invincible will use the PlayStation 5's DualSense controller, with gameplay designer Mariusz Enkowitz being a fan of the adaptive triggers. Speaking to WCCF Tech, he feels they're perfect for illustrating the complex interactions with objects, such as machines, tools, and equipment, and feels that the more intuitive and literally tactile gameplay will help players feel more immersed. Of course, you can also expect 3D audio support, which should make some of the tensor segments that much more harrowing. If you were wondering, Simon, how large a group of these flies could be, I can tell you. Yes, yes, I know. And with that, we reached the end of the video. Have anything to say? Let us know in the comments below. Also, we upload new videos every single day on Gaming Bolt, so please consider subscribing as it really helps us out. Thanks for watching.